Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. So in the last video, we derived this expression here. Q equals T transpose T little Q and big D equals T transpose T little D. And this expression here, T transpose T equals the identity matrix. So I'm just going to rewrite some of that stuff. So we had Q equals T transpose T Q and D equals T transpose T D, as well as this expression here. Okay. So we've got these three things so far. What we can do now, if we want to, is look at this formula here. We can multiply both sides by T. So we have TQ equals T transpose TQ, which would give us, we know now that T transpose T is just the identity matrix. So that would just essentially give us something like one. So we would have Q equals TQ. Similarly, we have T multiplied by D, multiplying both sides by T. And obviously, you know, from matrix algebra, it's very important that the T's, when you multiply both sides, you have to put it both in the left, right? So this is going to give us T transpose T, T times T transpose, we know is the identity matrix for this specific case. So we know that D equals T D. Okay. So we have these five different formulas here. Okay. Now moving on until the global stiffness matrix. So just to start off with, we saw that in the derivation of the local stiffness matrix, we essentially had this formula here, okay? Which essentially can be summarized as, we just know Hooke's law, F equals KD. In our case though, I'm gonna call it little q equals KD. Okay, so that is the local stiffness matrix. Sorry, not the local stiffness matrix. This is the local um, the local equations, if you want to think like this, where k, little, this is little k, is the local stiffness matrix. So, th so this is f equals kd in the local coordinates. Now, we know that d here is equal to